Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have an exciting trio of food reviews for you. Oh, yes. These are things that we have been sent uh, that are German products. Yep. We've got some pork roast in right now, and we are using the seasoning packet. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, it smells wonderful. <laughs> it does. Yep, and then from Aldi, we got this mushroom egg spitzel. Yep, we thought that it would go great with this meal. Yep. And then this, well, both of these are from a German food box. Yeah, the packet and the red cabbage. Yep. We are both big fans of sauerkraut. We put it on our hot dogs, on our brats. We do cook pork roast and sauerkraut ordinarily so we're excited i've never had red like yeah. this before red cabbage and this is red cabbage so i don't think it's pickled or is it i don't know i guess we're gonna find out i guess we'll find out what it tastes like but yeah with apples too yeah so we're not cooking the pork in that because we're por cooking the pork in this seasoning and we want to try them each separately and we can kind of mix it up on our plates if we choose to but anyway let's get cooking all right, so here we are. First step, we're going to start working on this pork roast. And this is what we have, a little small guy today. And then here is the packet of seasoning that we're working with. Is it Schweinbraten? Schweinbraten? Anyway, the directions say to cook this in some oil. We're going to sear it on all sides and then we'll show you what to do with the sauce. We're going to pop it in the crock pot to finish it off. Can't wait. And it's a cool, rainy, overcast day, so perfect for something in the crock pot. All right, so we are cooking this in just a couple of tablespoons of oil according to package directions. It did not specify what kind of oil. I chose a canola oil because I didn't want to use olive oil because I'm not really sure what the flavors of the seasoning packet are going to be. So anyways, that's the first step, sear the meat. All right, so the pork roast is done. Well, it's seared, that's what I'll tell you. And it is waiting in the crock pot. And the next step was to add 13 ounces of water back to this pan that has the drippings from the pork roast and the little brown bits on the bottom and the little bit of oil that's left. So we're gonna scrape the brown bits off the bottom of the pan, just like you do when you make a gravy or sauce or whatever. We're gonna do all that and then we're gonna dump in the sauce packet. All right, so I have added the sauce packet in and I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. So the directions say to add the water and bring that back up to a bubble, a boil, you know, actually. And then it says to add the seasoning packet and bring that up to a boil again. And once you have that, it's time to pour it over the pork roast. Now there's instructions on the packet for if you're doing it in the oven. We're doing ours in the crock pot today. So I'm just going to dump it in there. You need liquid in the crock pot anyway. So, oh my gosh, this smells so good. I can't wait to try it. All right, so here we have it. That is our seared pork roast with the sauce mix poured over. We're gonna put the lid on and let it cook for a few hours and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. It smells amazing. Yeah. So the pork roast, 
you saw was just sear, cook in the crock pot, pour the sauce over. The red cabbage was just heat on stove yep. top. Yep. Uh, so we're going to give that a try. And then the spatzel, it was like two cups of water. Get it boiling with the packet in there and like 12 minutes. And so no more difficult, actually easier than like mac and cheese or something. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we want to try it when it's all hot. What do you want to try first? Uh, let's try the cabbage. Okay. I kind of want to try it. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth whether I like it or not. I've never had this before. I am a fan of cabbage. So is John. We are big fans of sauerkraut. I'm not a big fan of sweet with stuff like this says apple. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go. Mmm. 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 -hmm. That's really good. It is really good. It is sauerkraut like. Yeah, but not as tangy. Right? Mm -hmm. It's settled down a little bit. It's also cut different. There's a couple longer pieces in here, but I feel like the strands or whatever of cabbage are much shorter. You know, like sauerkraut, some of it's really like long. Yeah. I don't know. I don't necessarily see any apples in there, but they could be, you know, purple as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know if there's like beets in here or something like beet juice or something that makes the color like that no it's red cabbage babe well, i know it's got red cabbage in it but the color is i think it just leaches out into the liquid mm. you know what i mean well i mean i don't know mm. i really like it i think i'm gonna like it like together with the pork for me sure. too okay spatzel yep all right spatzel and this says what mushroom yeah, mushroom with like egg noodle. Okay, let's go. Mmm. Whoa. I think I found something that is going to go in the rotation for sure. Did they have other ones of these? I feel like they did. Yeah, we have another one to try. Um, Do you remember the other kind? I think it's like onion. Mmm. I mean, this is super savory. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of salt in it, so sorry if you can't have salt. And I'm not complaining about that. It really... Or maybe it's because I just had the bitey, like, mm -hmm. red cabbage right. that it tastes more salty, but I really like it. Yeah, like the mushroom flavor is wonderful. In yeah, that. yeah. Mm-hmm. Love it. Now, did you season this, or this is how it was? No, that's exactly how it comes. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, for the pork, we use that seasoning packet. For the spatzel, everything came in the packet, and then there was nothing to do with the cabbage except just heat it up. All right, going pork. Now, like I said, we normally cook ours in sauerkraut. So, in fact, my mom made that when I was a kid. That's the only way I've ever had pork roast my entire life, unless I've had it like on a buffet somewhere or whatever. I've never not had pork roast cooked oh. in sauerkraut. I've never oh. not made it that way. All right, ready? Yep. Hmm. I'm trying to think like what the seasoning tastes like. Mm-hmm. Me too. Um. In fact, I'm going to try to taste it by itself. It just like, it kind of, uh, you can really taste it's like the pork juices and everything in it, you know, because it was cooked that way. I'm going to try like the top. Yeah. <clears throat> it's got like a little sweetness to it, but it's not mm -hmm. like super sweet because, you know, a lot of times you don't like a lot of sweetness with your meat, you know. But if you were going to, pork is the meat for that, right? A lot mm -hmm. of people like pork chops and applesauce or yeah, pork and, and apples or, yeah. Or you see like orange. Well, you just see orange chicken. It is really amazing. And you get a bite of the cabbage with the pork. My yeah. goodness, it's so good. They're just meant to go together. Pardon us why we just eat our dinner. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm I love the cabbage with the roast. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to tell you that sauce tastes like. 
It's very savory. There's a little bit of sweet. Uh, we don't have the packet up here. I feel like it gives the meat some color. So maybe yeah. there's some paprika in it. Um, I don't know. There's no heat to it at all. No. Um, and it doesn't, one of the things that I like about it is it doesn't, there is some flavor to it, but it doesn't overwhelm. No, and it, it's like, I just tried to taste the sauce by itself, you know? Mm -hmm. And it does have like an umami kind of mm -hmm. quality to it. Yeah. Now, I don't think I like it better than the brininess that I get of sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. But I do like it <clears throat> very much. Yeah, me too. And so I'm wondering... Like, if you could use that packet and mix it up with, like, breading, like, for a pork chop or a pork <clears throat> roast, you know what I mean? Like, oh, like, like, with flour and make it Just leave it dry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Instead of turning it into a sauce. When I mixed it, and, you know, you saw in the video, there was little bits in it, like little, I don't know if it was peppers, uh, maybe some minced onion. I could take a little bit more flavor than what's in this, but mm. I don't know if that's my fault. I mixed it to package directions, um, 13 ounces of water, but it just, this pork roast, this little baby pork roast made so much juice, didn't it? It did. It, I mean, it was like halfway full, so it's almost like, um, I don't know if it, I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be really subtle. I, hard to describe. I think, <clears throat> If we had another packet of that and we were to use it again, I would probably let just like sprinkle it over top of the pork mm -hmm. and then just let it blend with the juices as it cooks. Right. How I we, think that would be really good. Yeah. And what we always say, and maybe this is a dish that people make from scratch, but this is a um, like mass produced product so that other people can mm -hmm. try it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe that this is something that in Germany they just make at oh, home or whatever. Right. Um, that's amazing. I, this is a great meal. For sure. I like the red cabbage very much. I would be really hard pressed to replace regular sauerkraut. Um, but if I were to, <laughs> you know, that's, it's different than sauerkraut. Same family, different vibes. See, for me, like sauerkraut, has, I, I think, you know, sauerkraut and the meat are just married. You have to eat the two together. Whereas mm -hmm. this cabbage, you can just, you can certainly eat it by itself. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I like mean, sauerkraut. I mean, that's just personal. I like sauerkraut by itself, too. Well, sauerkraut's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So, the packet and the red cabbage we got from the German box, we yep. told you. Um, the spatzel was from Aldi. Now I can't wait to go back and see, you know, see what else there is and try more. That, that definitely, as far as those kind of convenience foods, like, I'm just going to say what I know, right? Like, there's packaged little mashed potatoes and mm -hmm. little rice mixes, like rice aroni and those kind of things that we don't eat that kind of thing a lot. But we usually have a thing or two like that in the pantry so right. that... Just in case we just want yeah, something quick. And... Yeah. Uh, or sometimes we'll have something like that for lunch. Yeah. Every once in a while. Right. Um, I can see that always, like every time we go to Aldi, just yeah. picking up one of those and having it. I hope they have it all the time because when I picked this up, I think it was like in that seasonal aisle. <laughs> so I'm crossing my fingers that they have more of these. Dang. Let us know. <laughs> All the things if you know anything about the seasoning packet that we tried or the sauce packet I don't know which you would consider it a seasoning packet or a sauce packet I kind of consider it a seasoning packet but maybe I'm wrong um, or I mean I could see us trying to make that from scratch yeah if we knew what it was for sure it's delicious no the spatzel. Oh, the spatzel. yeah I could see us trying to make that uh, we both love to make we both love to cook and we both enjoy making noodles and or pasta i should say yeah um so i could see us giving that a shot i don't know 
Anyway, this was an amazing meal. I'm glad we tried it. What was your favorite? I mean, it's kind of hard because the one is a sauce on pork, which is, you know, usually the star of the show. But right. um, I, I love it all. I can't tell you like one over the other because they're all really good. Would this be wrong? How I would make this meal better is season the pork roast with that seasoning packet. Still cook it in sauerkraut for the brininess because I love that. Still eat this on the side. <laughs> like that's the that's the tweak I would make. Uh -huh. um, it's all really good. I think if I were to really crave one thing on the plate, I feel like it would be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I love it all, yeah. but um, I would rank the spatzel. I don't know. It's processed, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like if we were to make it or have home, you know, go to somebody's grandmother's house and have them make it for us, that is a dish that would be a five. Oh, for yeah. sure, that would be a five. Right. Package processed is probably still a four, mm -hmm. you know? That is really good as far as that kind of thing goes. That's really good. I highly recommend. Uh, if you have an Aldi near you and it was, I don't mean, it was like $2 or something. It was cheap. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll give you that. It, it's definitely a, at least a four. The red cabbage I like very much. I don't like it better than regular sauerkraut. Um, but I would still probably rank it a three and a half to a four in that area for me. Yeah. What about you? It's up there at a four. Okay. All of it. All of it. Oh, all right? of it. All of it. Yeah, and then the sauce, seasoning stuff. Yeah, it's a four. I mean, I love the flavor of it. You know, I just think that if we change the cooking method a little bit, I think we would. Because you're right, it does. It the flavor of it's a little more subtle than I think we would like, and more than it was intended to be. Right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I follow the directions. It's just it's hard to tell with me. Uh, you know. Well, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. This is probably 100% my fault or our fault. The package directions were for cooking it in the oven. Right. And we cooked it in the crock pot. Right. So there's not supposed to be all of that. You know, it was diluted with all of those extra juices, but it was not intended to be that way. Right. Yeah. So. It should reduce in the oven. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's a choice that we made together, so we apologize. Um, but So it's a little bit diluted, but it's still amazing. Um, I would highly recommend all of these, and I think it's time to go and actually eat our dinner. Do you think? I think so. Let us know if you know any information about any of these things. We are ready to, I think, do a little bit of a deeper dive on some of these things. Try, try making some of it from scratch yeah. ourselves. So, or if you know of a German recipe you would like to see us try, or a recipe in general from anywhere in the world, we're gonna try to do some more authentic foods, making them at home. That's fun for us. Sure if is. you're not following us on social media, please come <clears throat> find us. Our links are in our channel banner, the place where the pictures of us yeah. lives. Uh, everything's linked there except for TikTok, but we have a TikTok too. So if you're on TikTok, come find us. Uh, now, if you love German food... I do. My goodness. I have loved German food, and there's no German heritage that I know of in my family, but when I was a little girl, and we've said this before, I was a picky eater. You would think that sauerkraut is not something that a little girl that wouldn't eat, like, you yeah, know, I know anything. Yeah, this little girl didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I, you would think I didn't like sour... or that I wouldn't like sauerkraut, but... I loved it even as a kid. Wow. Pork roast and sauerkraut was my favorite thing. In fact, my brother hated it and I loved it. <laughs> and sometimes, even for a birthday, this is how much we had it, even for, or and how much I loved it. It could be somebody's birthday and sometimes that would be the birthday meal. And here's how it goes. Pork roast, cooked in sauerkraut, homemade, has to be, buttery mashed potatoes, um, and you make it like a well of the mashed potatoes and then uh, the sauerkraut goes on top and then dumplings cooked in the sauerkraut juices. Let me tell you what, this is not 
any sort of diet food there or anything <laughs> no. like that. But it is so good. I remember the first time that Laura made that for me, I was amazed. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah, you would stick think, to your ribs. For yeah, sure. for sure. It's one of those things. As soon as it starts to get a little bit uh, chilly outside, we start mm -hmm. thinking about that. And it has it has been actually cold and rainy for about the past week. So this yeah. is a perfect meal for tonight. So ready to go eat? I am. All right. So like I started to say, if you love German food, sauerkraut, pork, spätzle. Aldi. Us or the video. Yeah. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. See you next time. That's it, guys. Bye. Bye.